It's the end of the world as we know it. Oh, it's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel nauseous. So anyways, uh, so this is my first day dealing with uh, chat GPT API, right? So chat GPT is what the large language model AI, they've had a little uh, web interface for it for a few months uh, and they just released an API that you can play with. The cool part about the API is you can now create your own Python scripts, run those Python scripts and actually get an output. And uh, I've spent, um, 20 minutes. I do believe I've spent about 20 minutes so far uh, playing with this and wow, I actually already have my own little response already. This is kind of interesting. Uh, so <clears throat> they do have like a free version or I don't know, you get so many points per month or something that you can use. Uh, so I have my little API key here, which of course I will delete before this video goes live. Uh, so this is what you use, you know, for your security connection. Uh, then here we have this um, open AI completion dot create. Uh, you say what model <clears throat> you want to use, you give it a prompt. So basically this is the question for OpenAI. You have this temperature thing. So this temperature thing I think is like how you dial in the accuracy. You got to play with that later. Again, I've only been dealing with this about 20 minutes. Max tokens. So tokens is what you spend in order to, uh, to get a result. And then you have some other stuff here. Uh, basically what I've added to this is I've simply said to print out the response. So response equals this. Uh, so basically what I do is I run the script and then it just prints out what the response is. So this appears to be in JSON. So JSON is a data format for sending uh, for sending data uh, over the internet. Uh, so I will need to parse this JSON to get the values that I want out of it. But as we can see here, I can say, tell me a joke about a robot. And uh, what did the robot say when, a, when it saw a vacuum cleaner? I'm scared of suckers. Right, and, uh, and this is so easy, this is so easy. I can just sit here and I can say, um, oh, I don't know, uh, tell me a joke about a clown and a tractor. God knows, I, I don't know what this is gonna do. Uh, control S, I'm gonna say, oh, I'm saying, control uh, Command S, we're gonna save, we're gonna come here, we're gonna run this, and uh, let's see what we get. Uh, what did the clown say when he saw the tractor? That's one big honking clown car. <laughs> okay, you know, might, he might not be Seinfeld. Open AI might not be Seinfeld, but that's pretty cool. I mean, look at, look at how quick that is. And um, you know, this popped out. I keep saying this whole thing like the Battle of Hastings. I'm just curious here. Um, uh, let's just to say, uh, what was the Battle of Hastings? Um, I don't know, for some reason I just keep using this as an example whenever I talk about chat GPT. So we might as well actually see what it has to say. The Battle of Hastings is... There we go. Uh, the Battle of Hastings was a decisive battle in 1066 between Norman French, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, look at that. And it like, it like just, it pulls it out uh, that quickly. Um, so again, I think this can be pretty cool. And, and the big thing here, again, this is all scripted. You're not dealing with somebody else's interface. You can actually script this. And again, since this is a response, I could dump this response into a database. I could dump this response into a file. Uh, and so the concerning thing here, again, what I am actually scared of, <laughs> what I'm actually scared of is not nuclear war or anything like that, is that when the, the SEO marketers get a hold of this, they're gonna be able to do things like do a prompt of come up with 20 good blog post titles about X, Y, or Z. That could then get put into a list. Then you could do a four in that list, four X in list, 
create post about this title, create post about this title, create post about this title. And imagine it's doing it this quickly. So imagine when you get SEO marketers that can literally write, you know, write, what is this? This is 16 lines of code. So probably more than this. Imagine when SEO marketers can write 50 lines of code and then auto magically create an entire, entire website with, you know, hundreds or thousands of blog posts on it. Um, you know, on a onesie twosie thing, that could be cool. When you start doing that at scale and you have thousands and thousands and thousands of people doing that at scale, it is going to turn the internet into a god awful mess. But anyways, um, again, you know, <laughs> technically, from a technological standpoint, this is pretty cool and it's uh, pretty easy. The big thing is open AI. So when you go through and you're actually, um, yeah, when you actually go through and they give you the quick start guide, what's interesting with the quick start guide is they tell you to use Python Flask. So this has the whole, whole thing with Python Flask. Now, again, I've been playing with Python Django, so I didn't want to use Python Flask. So what you actually do is you just use pip. So you use the, uh, oh, where is it? Um, pip3 install open AI. And so that will install the open AI module for you on your computer. Uh, and then from there, you're able to, uh, to run the code. So that's the thing. You do not need to install Flask. You just need to install uh, open AI, uh, but you then will get a JSON response. So I have to, you know, hit the books on how to parse a JSON response. So that should not be the most difficult thing in the world. So anyways, uh, I think this is cool. I, 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 I am not, again, I do like things. I like cool things. So I think this is pretty awesome. Uh, if you like these types of videos, please give us a thumbs up. If you don't like these types of videos, please give us a thumbs up. Hey, see that reverse psychology there? Uh, leave a comment, share this with everybody. And with that, I'll see you all later. Hopefully next week at our, we're going to have a Django seminar here at Silicon Dojo. And, and I'm going to spend the next week and a half and we're actually going to have a chat GPT API seminar here probably the week after. Probably the week. No, not, not guaranteeing that. Not guaranteeing, but probably the week after we'll have a chat GPT seminar here.